Hello everyone, I am Pacific the Casual Gamer, and a while ago I made the chair build. A build where it was a character build, where you played as a chair. Like if a chair had stats. Well, someone asked if I could make a key build. You clicked on the video, we're we'll talking about the key build. So to start, you're going to pick a wood elf, you're going to have agility and luck as your two kind of stats, and then you're going to use the steed as your sign. For the seven skills, you're going to use security, obviously, because it's a lot a key. Sneak, blade, hand-to-hand, -hand, acrobatics, alteration, and alchemy. So let's start it off. Wood Elf. Fast. A key is fast. If you've ever tried to swing a key around like it's a knife, it's fast. And it's a small but deadly tool slash weapon. Agility is there because, again, it's small. Um, you know, keys fit anywhere. And... I mean, you drop them, they kind of don't roll around, so Jilly. Luck is there. I just kind of put it in there. I think because I feel like, like, keys, you have to find the right one, you get the key lost in, like, a key box, and you find the key. Or you randomly find a key, and it helps you unlock a lock in Oblivion that you probably didn't have enough lock picks for anyways. And then the steed, because it's a fast, fast. I'll get to this whole speed thing in a bit. So if you ever seen, like, a key is an amazing weapon. I, I love keys. They're super cool. And that's where hand-to-hand -hand and blade comes in. Because a key is just... I can imagine stabbing someone with a key would hurt a lot. You know, and really, if you wanted to wield a key in real life, you wouldn't use it as a sword. You would just kind of use it as a wolverine claw. So I kind of imagine if you had wolverine claws in Oblivion, that would be like essential to the key build. Like you would have to use those no matter what. Um, the security comes in because that's locks and the key is the lock thing. So really, there's no need to explain that. Sneak is there because keys are really easy to hide. I mean, it's a freaking key. It's tiny. Okay, anything tiny is easy to hide. Oh my God. Acrobatics is in there. Okay, now acrobatics is there because I don't know if you've thrown a key. But it's pretty easy to throw a key up and catch it. Just saying. Just just leave that out there. Alteration is there to unlock things. If you run out of lockpicks because you're a freaking key, you should be able to unlock things. Alchemy is there because alchemy happens on keys. Old school keys that are made out of iron or something rust. And that is essentially just alchemy happening on the key. So how you would use this build, this build is all over the place, but it's really a stealth build. Like, honestly, very stealthy. You have acrobatic sneak blade in there. You're a wood elf with the steed sign. You're going to be a fast boy assassin when you play as the key build. Like, fast boy assassin. There's, there's no other way to put it. Now, you can actually use alteration not just to unlock things, but to help you out in a jam for things like armor or telekinesis, right? Maybe you need an item. Maybe you, for some reason, need more magic. Then you telekinesis... You have one telekinesis spell like a Welkin Stone off of something or anything like that. Or telekinesis yourself a weapon. I still, like, I haven't ever tried that before, but that'd be really cool if I actually could pull that off. Alchemy is there so that you can make potions because it, there's no armor class on this build. So you're going to need potions for fire resistance, frost resistance, shock resistance. You know, because your clothes can only do so much. The nice thing about having armor is that you have physical protection covered. You can just put resistance on there or anything like that. Now it's a little different. You don't have armor on, so you have to pick what um, what your clothes do for things like protect or resistance to anything, really. Hand-to-hand -hand is a nice skill to have. I would say I have a character that I use, and I use blade and hand-to-hand. -hand. It's really fun. I really like kind of like, oh, I can level up my strength some more, you know? And kind of balancing out blade and hand to hand. I don't know. I just it's more fun. Plus, if your sword breaks, I mean, you got a backup weapon. If you ever decide to actually use hand to hand, that is. And that's really it for this build. It's a key build. Like, what can I say? It's a freaking. How I came up with this idea, I have no idea. I might just be crazy. I might just see things in oblivion at this point. But I don't know. But I. I... I didn't know this video was possible. It took a lot of brain power to make this video, but I did it. And I, I guess that's what matters, guys. That was a key build. 
It's a key build in Oblivion. What more can I say? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more random videos like this. But, God, it's so random. So random. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.